Hello, welcome back to another coding episode. Uh, I just want to quickly show you that my new website is now up. So this episode is a follow-on from the last episode where we made an, an auto-updating navbar, so whichever page you go on, it is the same. This episode, I'm going to show you how to do this active page. When you're on a different page, it currently doesn't change the active part. But we're going to fix that. So, head over to Visual Studio Code, where you should be editing. Um, and then you'll see here, on the home part, it says active. We don't want it to be saying that. We want it to be saying, question mark, PHP, if brackets, uh, if brackets, dollar page equals equals, and then put the page name, so this one will be home, and then you want to close the brackets, and then do a curly braces, and then you want to do echo, and then active, close that, and then close the PHP, and what you want to do is after you format the document, just copy and paste this class into all of the fields. It does make the thing a little bit more clunky, but it's sort of worth it in the end. I'm not going to do this one because it links to an external page which doesn't have the same layout. So in the last episode, I told you to uh, make this dollar page on all of these pages. and this, I, met, I told you to do it lowercase, um, because it works better. Um, so, projects would be projects about, oh, whoops, projects, and then about, and then contact, donate, and issues. So I'm just going to quickly finish off all the pages and I'll be back. Okay, so now that I have done that, um, as you can see on all of these pages you have a dollar page and then an attribute for that, a dollar title and then an attribute for that and then the include. So on this page the dollar title is grabbing this part, so that will be putting it there. And then on this page, uh, on the nav bar, it's grabbing the dollar page, which will be that. So it, if I have done it correctly, and I go back to the site, and I refresh, that will be like that. And then if I go to there, it'll be like that. If I go to there, it'll be like that. If I go to there, you get the point. So one thing I want to know about my page is on certain browsers scrolling is broken but yeah that's it so i hope you did enjoy this quick php video if you did hit like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next